Greg's queries for heteros. Yes. Had a uh, meeting. Yeah. Greg's got questions. Mm hmm. From his community. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> his community of. This community of guys. <laughs> where are my guys? Where are my guys? Yeah. And much like uh, Ravy's questions for the fellas, uh, the rest of us street people are going to try to figure out if we can uh, give Greg an answer that makes sense to him and uh, clear up some of these questions. Greg, questions, queries, I'm sorry, for heteros. Yeah, we're going to start with, uh, I was recently talking to my partner Mario, and he said when he was in first grade, they went on this class field trip and realized that he had a crush on his teacher's husband. <laughs> and that was his aha moment that he realized he was ah, gay. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So, uh -huh. yeah. do straight guys ever have a moment that they can look back on and think, huh, I'm straight? <laughs> I don't think uh, so. Well, I think in like first grade, I did have a crush on like, oh, yeah. another student, okay. which was female. Right. So, I guess. And what do you've talked about, you know, Punky Brewster inspiring feelings that you couldn't define? Yeah, but I never, I, I didn't even know what gay was then. Yeah, did Mario, uh, Mario yeah, know what gay was? Yeah. Uh, well, that's the thing. I guess you no, never but, heard but, about but, it. But I mean, yeah. you knew you liked her for some reason. Right. Well, exactly. Like Not for that, some that, reason. Yeah, just, it, but it wasn't like, I didn't, I didn't have any concept or. That's what I'm saying. Knowledge of gay. Never thought about it. Right. Well, gay know has about nothing it. Never, to do with this yeah. question. You never heard about it. No, no I know, but to, the, to, to know that you're straight would mean that there's other, mm. there's some kind of other option. Oh, another option. Right. Did Mario think, oh, this is uh, different? Or, I mean, you yeah, don't know. That, oh, that's a good question. Yeah. You probably didn't. Right. But I think there is, maybe there is a huge difference then that you realize, oh, I'm into, well, at the time when you're a kid, boys or men, you know, as yeah, opposed like, to I'm, girls. I'm going to be 47 here, right? So it was, it was just a different... It was a different time. You know, it wasn't as talked about. It wasn't, certainly was not mainstream yeah. like it is now. Mm -hmm. It was like, you know, it, it existed, but like kids had no idea unless you were, you know, you had a relative or somebody like that. But mm -hmm. even even still, you probably didn't even know about it because there's a lot of people who just kept it quiet. And right. Like, don't talk about Uncle Greg. Right. <laughs> you know, because yeah. it's, dude, I, I, you know. Yeah. Right. I think I started being aware of it like junior high, high school. Interesting. And middle school, no. But now middle school these days, like they know everything under the sun. Well, maybe there's no answer for it because you hear a lot of gay guys say, oh, I've known I was gay since I was five. How, though? It's kind of interesting, right? I mean, maybe looking back, they didn't realize it at the time. But now in retrospect, like, oh, maybe it's I only thought, when you look back, you know, oh, I, I thought Steve was uh, right. the hottie. Yeah, I, I had a crush on <laughs> Steve as opposed to, you know, Samantha. Uh, Amy or yeah. Samantha or whatever. Brenda. Yeah, and so you didn't realize at the time or what that was or know what to do with it. Like, I had a crush on Punky Brewster. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I would have... I didn't know what I wanted to do with that. Other yeah, than, exactly. oh, yeah. I like her. Right. I was going to push her on the swing. Right. You know what I mean? Hold hands. It probably. You know, or, or stuff like that. It wasn't like, ooh, <laughs> I'd bang her. Right. You know? like, it wasn't. It had nothing to do with sex. Yeah, totally. Right. Totally. Just yeah. attraction overall. Kind of interesting, though. Uh, if you are out in public and you're with your gay friend, do you ever wonder or worry if others, strangers, think you're also gay? And if so, do you care? I think you know my answer on this, but I'll, I'll let everybody else go yeah, first. I, think, I mean, I think um, I might know your answers. But. I would say absolutely not because I don't feel like people would mistake me as gay because of how <laughs> sloppy I dress. <laughs> Maybe I might be a lesbian, yeah. though. Oh, yeah, true. I could mm. be a lesbian. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, I don't think about that at all. Like anytime I'm out with. Female mm -hmm. friends, oh, Ravy's totally gay. Yeah. All her friends are chicks, and uh -huh. I don't care. Well, you have been a mystery. Sure. For a long, long time. Like, right. A lot of people are calling late in life lesbian Ravy. Yeah. Late yeah. in life lesbian Ravy. Yeah, right, right, exactly. So do I care? <laughs> right. no. 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 No, she's never care. She's never cared. I don't care about 99.9% .9 of what anybody thinks about anything. Right. I always say, you know, uh, when it comes to that stuff, as long as you have your opinion and it's based on something that I've actually said or I've actually done, I don't care what it is. You know, you can label me whatever you, because everybody's got their different definition of whatever. So, like, you know, if uh, you and I are sharing an umbrella, Greg, for an oh, example, because it's would, raining outside, I'm sure there's never. some other people out there go like, dude, that's <laughs> gay. Right? There's some dudes that take it to the extreme. Now, if that's even... what gay means to you and you want us because you see Greg and I like sharing an umbrella and you want to think I'm gay for that. I'm not going to fight you on it. Fine. I guess I guess I'm gay, right? Right. Yeah, I don't care. Um, even, even when I, right after I came out, I was at this bar with a couple of friends and they said, oh, we need you to, we need to meet a guy for you. And I said, 
you guys, the bartender heard you say that. <laughs> oh, wow. and I was and I was angry. I'm like, yeah. I'm not ready f for this level of gay yet. Uh, right, you know right, what right. I mean? Yeah, yeah you got to you got to level up in gay. Yeah, even I was angry about that. I'm not yeah. ready to go nuclear yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the nuclear <laughs> comes later. <laughs> uh, have you ever had a friend that you thought was gay, and if so, did you ask or say anything? Oh yes, all the time. As I know, dude, I know I you did, but yeah. uh, but do you actually say something to your yeah? Quote, I have, dude. Yeah, really, yeah, uh, dude. I know you're gay. You can go ahead, just live just your life. Just go ahead, be gay. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of how things were different at a point in time, uh, our friend Mike the Show Killer was not out of the closet, right? Mm. And uh, we were working together at this radio station. You could tell he was going through something. He was like in a really bad like space or whatever. And I'm, you know, friends with him and would go and hang out. He had this little office and I'd go sit there and like, you know, chop it up. And uh, I go, dude, just get it over with. Just, you know, just <laughs> come out already. Really? He's You'll like, be so much happier. Close, close the door. <laughs> so we close the door and he's like, nope. No, how do you know that? I'm like, I said, I'm, I'm just, I'm just picking that up, dude. I, I'm, you know, mm. he goes, yeah, but dude, I, 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 early in my career, I, people are going to, I'm like, we work at a, now keep in mind, the, at the time, this is a, uh, we were working at the station in New Jersey, WPST. It was 1997. So he was only like late 40s. Okay. <laughs> it was 1997. Yeah. Late in life homosexual. We were working for a woman, a program director of the station, was a lesbian. Uh -huh. The woman who was the president of the company was a lesbian. And we're living in a place that is a total melting pot community between yeah. New York City and Philadelphia. Who cares? Nobody like right. at that point, like nobody cared. But he was still worried because at that point, like it still wasn't like as easy uh, as it is now. Not that it's easy; it's easier now, mm -hmm. just because there's way more tolerance. I think you would agree. I mean, I can't speak for you, Greg. Oh, but a thousand. Percent. It's way easier yeah, now than we, it's ever been. Yeah, we tolerate you every day. <laughs> I'm not and saying I'm it's so. Thankful. I'm not saying it's not yeah. easy. I'm not saying it is easy for people to, you know. Let yeah. their family know or whatever, like they're still, you know, anxious, anxious anxiety about that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, everybody's got now. their own personal story. But yeah. oh, it's a thousand times easier now. Yeah. Because I have this friend, let's call him John. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who is married and has children. And I am convinced he is gayer than Christmas oh, and wow. Bloomingdale's. <laughs> you know, on Fire Island. Yeah. And, and he, on Fire Island, exactly. Yeah. In, in the Fuego month of gay. June. Yeah. yeah. Palm Springs gay. Right. And the, the types of voicemails he'll leave me, again, I'm going to say his name is John. It will be like, hey, Greg, it's John. I'm just bopping on down to the mall. Thought I'd give you a jingle. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you serious? Anyway. Um, holler at me when you can. Why don't we do lunch? Or oh, you yeah. know what? Let's do brunch on Sunday. And yeah. call me back. House. And yeah. then I'm thinking like, wow, you shouldn't have <laughs> gotten married yet. You know, wow. like it gets Let better. Yeah, but some kids. I don't know. Like I would have to hear it for myself for context because. You know, when I'm around my gay friends, I love acting super gay and flamboyant. And flamboyant. Wait, Wait, hold on. <laughs> hey, flamboyant. Girl. hey, girl. Talking about Bravo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, girl. Yeah, because it's super fun. It I want is get, fun. I want audio. This is news. I know. I it, want yeah. gay men. Uh, you don't do it that is. when you're well, with your gay friends? I mean, it makes buddies? sense. Right, it makes sense. He sees the people from the hip hop station. All of a sudden, it's like, oh yeah, for shoes, for shoes. What's up, homie? So it yeah, makes sense it, if he's around the, uh, you know, his gay friends. Be like, you don't do that as. He gets flouncier. What's up, girl? <laughs> you guys don't. That's cute. That's cute. You guys don't play around. With yeah, your gay I've friends? seen Woody and Mike the Show Killer hang out a lot, and Woody automatically. Oh just my god! Goes I start. Well, that's I start Woody. skipping. <laughs> I have like ribbons that I'm and twirling. Then he's like, Woody's not gonna have fun like that. Let's give Randy like, a jingle. Oh, Woody's well, not gonna have fun. Yeah, because I'm having a miserable time hanging out and socializing with my mm -hmm. friends. Let's mm -hmm. bop on down to Randy's house <laughs> and give her a jingle. Yeah. Yeah. Woody's not gonna play around like that. How about yeah, he's that, no bro? fun. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Right. yeah. So, he's not fun. Uh, from the yeah. meeting I had <laughs> yeah. with friends, they one of the questions was, <laughs> "Why do straight guys?" And I don't know if this is true. Why do straight guys have so few pairs of pants? Mm. Oh. It's an observation he made. I, I don't think I've ever had that observation. That's, a good, no, that's an accurate no, observation. No, it is, yeah. And I, I just have... got two more pairs of pants, but I just, I don't know, I never can find any that I really like, to also, be honest. Dude, okay. the Muggsy jeans, man. I'm addicted. Muggsy? Muggsy. Yeah, mm. Muggsy jeans. It, they, it feels like, uh, it feels like you're wearing, jeans? yeah, man, it feels like oh. you're wearing sweatpants. They're so yeah. comfortable. Girl jeans. Like, no, no, no. Mm, no, jeans. no it's, it's the jeans I wear all the time. But now I have I have them like okay so I'm wearing jeans that I don't normally wear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just got another pair. 
They say juicy on them. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, juicy on the butt. Juicy couture. Those look couture. good. Them's are mugsies. They look good. Super yeah. comfortable for like an everyday thing. They look good. Love them. Mm, yeah. Yeah, but so that's yeah, but that's more of a recent thing. Also, uh-huh. when you go between sizes enough, you end up having more. But like yeah, any true. any ones that are like a, in active rotation, there's probably like two or maybe three. Yeah. The easy answer is straight guys don't care how they look. Yeah, look at yeah. this. As much. Yeah, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> There's Menace the answer. Menace yeah. is saying the same thing. Like yeah, that. I'm just slob. I'm yeah. not going to be mistaken as gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got that built-in thing. Give me one more question, Greg. Oh, one more question. Yeah. Greg's queries for one heteros. was, let's see. Why do straight people, this is from a friend of mine, why do straight people say, how do you know if you're gay if you've never slept with a woman? Straight people ask that of a gay guy. Is that true? Oh, yeah. Um, How do you know you're gay? Yeah. I've well, never been with a woman. If you just bang the right chick, you right. won't yeah. be gay anymore? You, don't, you well, don't ask a straight uh, guy, how do you know you're straight if you've never been with a man? Uh, oh, there's... Oh, they, they do get asked that. You do yeah. get asked that. <laughs> uh-huh. You do? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, by gay guys. guys. Yeah, yeah like, and there's plenty of gold star yeah. gays that I know. Uh-huh. Gold star gay meaning that they've never been with a woman. Like, how do you know you're not straight? All right. Yeah. Or bi. But I can't... I didn't know that... Straight men get asked. That. Oh yeah. Well, how do you know? You have yeah. you ever done it? Yeah. Hmm. You're like a don't knock it till you try kind of thing. Yeah, it's, it's more just, rhetorical. I, yeah. I just yeah. I just have, you know, I I see it and whatever I go, no interest in that. Yeah. yeah. Don't. You just know. I never thought like, man, I'd really love to kiss that guy. <laughs> <laughs> never thought that. Never had that thought. Like, man, I'm yeah. I mean, it makes but, sense to me because yeah. I don't like musicals. Like, I don't have to go to one to know I don't like it. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, you've seen you know. clips. Look at that. Oh right. my God. Look yeah. at his chest. <laughs> I don't need Is anybody else experience. getting a boner right now? Like, <laughs> <laughs> just, it's just never, this uh, been, it's never been a, a thing. I did not know you got asked that, yeah. though. Yeah. Um, but yeah. with that question, I've never asked a gay guy that question ever. Okay. You know, Interesting. Like, well, you've yeah. never been with a woman. How do you know? Yeah. Well, I, you know, it's come up like, so, you know, before you came out, were you ever with women? Because some haven't, you know. Like, right. That's a common question. Some people, right. So the, the, For like, sure. Like that. It's not been from the, from the standpoint of like, well, then how do you, how do you know? Yeah. Well, I think the way to know is to try both, right? Because I know from my oh, perspective, yeah. it just, <laughs> just you know, sample. Not interesting. Yeah, sample just get around. out there sampling. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. It's called dabbling. Yeah.